Good day ladies and gents, a big patch is hitting Tarkov today and we're gonna go through patch notes. There is three main things that I'm gonna talk about today, well I think those three things are the main, the most interesting things about those patch notes. First of all, is Tarkov becoming pay to win once again? Secondly, removal, removal of the snow and thirdly, uh, fixed damage that goes through the armor. Alright, so first of all, snow. There is nothing about snow in the patch notes, however BSG teased yesterday that the weather is changing and I believe snow is gonna be gone today. We're either gonna get a uh, usual summer Tarkov with green grass, green trees, birds singing, you know, all of this. Or we're gonna get something in between. Maybe we're gonna get a uh, seasonal Tarkov, aka right now is gonna be spring. So there won't be any snow, however the grass, the trees, everything's gonna be orange. Maybe there will be less trees, uh, less less uh, leaves on trees compared to summer. Maybe grass is not going to be as thick as in summer and everything is going to be more orange yellowish and there's going to be more rain. So we'll see, we'll see when the patch is installed. Either way, let's go back to the patch notes. Reworked the damage through layers of armor. Now when each layer is penetrated, the bullet loses some penetration power and damage depending on the characteristics of penetrated armor. Alright, I think that's self-explanatory. If your armor consists of your layers, the further the bullet goes, the more damage it loses. Fixed an issue with missing blunt damage when hitting a ballistic plate. So this is gonna be a really big change, <clears throat> because right now if the bullet hits the ballistic plate and doesn't go through, it doesn't deal any damage to your body. So basically, there is a chance that you're gonna get hit by a really high caliber, let's say M80 or M61. And if your armor doesn't let the bullet through, the bullet is gonna break the armor a little bit down, it's gonna tear it apart, however you will receive zero damage. And sometimes that led to people getting shot three, five, six times, and the armor would literally deflect those six bullets and they would get no damage whatsoever. Um, all right, adjusted the head colliders, eyes, ears. Maybe eyes and ears hitboxes are becoming smaller, that's what I'm hoping for. Remove the possibility for bullets to pierce through characters throat and stomach. Alright, so right now if you're getting hit in the stomach, the bullet can travel through and hit somebody else that's behind you. Uh, not gonna be possible anymore. Added the fits existing text to the ballistic plate inspector to display which armors the plate fits to. All right. Added the ability to fit uh, granite BR4 and BR5 plates to Wartac TTV and TV105 plate carriers. All right, so more, more armor plates to fit into Wartac rigs. Cool. Adjusted the recoil parameter for pistols, shotguns, and SKS carbine. All right, maybe recoil will be increased, maybe it will be decreased. We'll see. Added contact shadows for the BTR and updated visual effects of the BTR machine gun fire. All right. Adjusted random container spawn settings to reduce the chance of spawning an empty container. Added the tenths of percentage display when viewing the total numbers of players who have completed an achievement. Adjusted the sound positioning system on Ground Zero and Streets of Tarkov. Alright, hopefully sound on Streets of Tarkov is better now. In the near future, the in-game stash expansion and access to the practice scope mode will become available for purchase in the profile page on the official Escape from Tarkov website. So this will be available for all editions, even if you have EOD now and you have the biggest stash, you will be able to go to Tarkov website and uh, expand your stash even further. I'm not sure how big the expansion might be, maybe it's going to be 2 rows, maybe it's going to be 10 rows. So once again, the question arises, is Tarkov pay to win or is it not? Uh, but the fact is still there, even if you have EOD, you will be able to expand your stash even further. Uh, I confirmed that with BSG, by the way. Purchase of additional stash lines will be available regardless of the game edition. There we go. Purchasing access to the practice scope mode will be available for all editions. So Edge of Darkness, uh, it's available by default. Yep. Fixes. Numerous fixes and adjustments to the visuals and geometry of Ground Zero and Streets of Tarkov, okay. Fix the lack of camera shake when firing from stationary weapons, cool. Fix the incorrect shifting on the aiming... Bro, this is such sophistic sophisticated language. Fix the incorrect shifting of the aiming line on iron and hybrid sights at high FOV settings. So, long story short, there were some sights, for example, hybrid sights, you know, the one the flip on and off. Um, the problem is they had worse visual recall compared to the other sides. Your gun will go up a little bit, but the side will go up even further. So basically all the bullets would go under the point you're aiming at. Like let's say you aim 
at 80 degrees, but all the bullets would go at 70 degrees. Hopefully this is getting fixed. Fix the lack of camera sway when aiming in the left shoulder stance. The lack of camera sway. So the camera is going to sway more when you aim at the left shoulder. I don't even use left, left shoulder very often. Let me know down in the comments below if you use left shoulder since it's been added. I, I barely use it. Maybe I use it like once a day. Fix several bugs in voting mechanics that cause getting pushed out, stuck, falling into geometry. Cool. Uh, maybe this will involve BSG fixing the marked room on streets. So right now you can vault into marked room on streets, aka bug abuse to get into the room. Maybe this will this will fix it. Fix the possibility of taking damage from snipers while inside BTR. Fix the logic where the BTR would start firing at nearby players. Fix the ability to transfer restricted items to other players using the BTR. Fix the error pop-up when trying to view a player's profile in certain cases. Hmm. I've heard that cheaters can stop you from viewing their profiles. I'm not sure if that's true, but I guess that's getting fixed. When you die to someone and you cannot view their profile. Also, when you search somebody's name on the friend list and you cannot view their profile, even if they're not your friend. Fix the availability of Lightkeeper services for players who have not completed the starting quests or don't have sufficient reputation. Fix the inability to activate Lightkeeper services immediately after unlocking them without restarting the game. Uh, okay. Fix the several incorrect player animations when using stationary weapons. Fix the hands getting frozen after using stationary weapons. Fix the error when loading a double barrel shotgun with ammo from secure container. Fix the reload through context menu during magazine check resulted in the locking of magazine slots. All right, so basically when you were loading your gun from the context menu from your uh, rig, like you right click on the mag and load it in, sometimes that locked the mag and you were unable to use your inventory, you were not able to heal, shoot or do anything, that's getting fixed. Fix the narrow display and thermal scopes. Fix the incorrect positioning of a buttstock with some buffer tubes, cool. Fix the incorrect display of face shields for other players in certain cases. I think in some cases, when your visor was down, it was showing as it's up for the players. That's getting fixed. Fix the air after replacing an equipped helmet with the same helmet with a different flashlight installed. Damn, that's a very specific fix. Fix the ability to quickly return from left right lean if using smooth lean after using normal lean all right so that was a bug abuse where you could do super quick peaks like super quick peaks um with a combo of those those animations now you can't fix the incorrect ai movement speed fix the inc incorrect cultist behavior after attacking with melee weapons fix the possibility of ai falling through the ground fix the air after the post raid therapist healing screen for players with elite charisma skill Fix the incorrect logic of unlocking new quest after failing the previous quest. Fix the incorrect objective area for capturing outposts. Um, this is probably for Shoreline. I'm not sure what the area for Shoreline was, but I think it was changed to the pumping station from Pier, but people were killing enemies on capturing for, for capturing outpost quests on Pier and they were still counting. So that's kind of weird and hopefully all areas for capturing outposts um, are legit now. Fix the disappearance of a secure container from the inventory when interacting with equipment presets in certain cases, okay? Fix the incorrect logic of inviting a player to the lab raid if they don't have a keycard. Fix the incorrect display of fog and optics after using thermal sites. Fix the display of light from IR flashlight and optical sites. Fix the display of insurance and found and raid icons. Fix blinking of certain achievement icons when pressing the collector collection date filter. Fix the text overlay on white background on the language selection screen. Fix the error when inverting the mouse on X axis. Oh, somebody actually mentioned this in my on my Twitch chat uh, a few days ago. I stream on Twitch daily, by the way. Check me out. They said like when they uh, invert the mouse on X axis in Tarkov, it completely freezes their game. So like the game, they can still play, but they cannot move around using keyboard and they cannot look around. They cannot ADS. Fix the infinite loading when trying to load into a finished raid after a reconnect. Fix the ability to open a locked door without a key using the breach option. Wait, what? What the hell? You were able to breach doors, the ones that are locked by keys? <laughs> That's an interesting one. Adjusted the damage from... Oi, let me go back. Adjusted the damage from fire and barbed wire. 
And fix the possibility of generating a player scav with no equipment. All right, that was a meme when you play as a scav and you have no equipment. All right, so this the, those are the patch notes. Let me know what you think about those patch notes in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care.